Open the doors. Dave, this conversation can serve no purpose anymore. Goodbye. Big Brother is watching you. I suppose you also feel the same way sometimes when things don't turn out well. At such times you wish that you could reverse things and become the observer instead of being the absurd one. From now on your wish can come true with this great little device. Pink Brother is watching. Your devices. I'm sure you're wondering by now what this is all about. Ping Brother is an industrial switch with manageable power over Ethernet and various watchdog functionalities, as well as with several other remote monitoring and management services that enable you to have as much as possible information on your remote IT devices and keep events under your control. Ping Brother is a passive PoE switch. It can be placed on a table, mounted on panel, or using an optional adapter, it can even be mounted on a den rail. If you want to use Pink Brother for this purpose, all you have to do is select a power supply unit suited for the voltage, power consumption and the number of devices you want to power, and then connect it into Pink Brother. Pink Brother then will distribute the power to the connected devices. The power input can either be 8 to 56 volts DC or 9 to 46 volts AC. Pink Brother will happily work on either of them. One way to provide power to the devices is through the terminal block power connector of Pink Brother with an industrial switching power supply or with a desktop or wall power supply unit through a DC socket adapter. The other way to provide power to the devices is PoE feeding through Ethernet port number 1 when the port's PoE switch is in the right position. What we have here is a powered switch with a 12 voltage power supply. For demonstration purposes, let's connect an IP camera and a wireless device to it. As you can see, installation is quick, clean and easy and eliminates the need for engaging in some do-it-yourself work on the scene. In addition to providing power to and enabling data communication through network devices, Ping Brother offers several supplementary services. The first, that it provides a number of useful information on the various parameters of remotely operated devices. The second is that it enables users to manage PoE powering or to control other external devices through contact outlets. The third is that Ping Brother is capable of giving specific responses and interventions in line with user settings in response to various events. Working in synergy, these diverse features make Ping Brother a good fit and useful tool in terms of building and operating unattended systems consisting of IP-based devices installed at isolated and hardly accessible locations. Let's now take a closer look at some of these features. The functionalities are available via a web-based password protected graphical interface and most of them are also accessible through Broperator, a monitoring software application that runs on Windows platforms. In addition to displaying the date, time, uptime and other general information, the status screens provides readings of the voltage supply to device and internal temperature and for the EPIV 104P model only, the power consumption and output of PoE devices fed through the specific Ethernet ports. You can also check the readings of an external temperature sensor provided as a default accessory to the EPI V104 model. To provide additional information to users, the system log window provides a clear overview of major system events, external user interventions and the automatic watchdog responses of the device. Users can intervene remotely via a graphical user interface. The state of any channel can be changed in this manner to turn on or off power to a PoE device or to manage external devices through contact outlets. 
If you want to control the channels with your own software rather than manually, you can do it by sending the right HTTP GET commands to the above mentioned monitoring software application to Ping Brother. To do that, you also need to send a base64 encoded password. The third major group includes the individual watchdog functionalities of Ping Brother. These functionalities can be set via the web-based graphical user interface. The IP event actions menu is available to all models of Ping Brother, and this is where you can set the classic IP watchdog functionalities. Here you can configure four different network devices by providing a domain name or IP address, and you can set whether you want to monitor the host ping availability and or flawless operation of the HTTP server. You can set to turn on or off, change the state, or reset at a specified time any of the channels in case of an error. As a further option, the device is capable of sending an email notification upon the occurrence of specified events. If you intend to use Ping Brother other than a PoE switch on any or all Ethernet ports because you connect a computer or any other non-PoE device to it, you can switch off the PoE power outlets individually. You will still be able to control any external device by remote management or through channels supervised by Ping Brothers Watchdog functionalities with the help of the relay contacts connected to the terminal blocks. If you have an EPIW104P model of Ping Brother, you can set an automatic response to changes in all measured parameters. This means that when the power supply voltage of Ping Brother or the power consumption of the measured internal or external temperature of the connected devices drop below or exceed a preset value or the connected moisture sensor gets wet, Ping Brother will give a user-defined response that can either to power on off reset PoE on the Ethernet ports or to manage other devices through the relay contacts connected to the terminal blocks or send a warning email. Let's take three simple examples. You configure Ping Brothers so that when the power consumption of a device connected to Ethernet port number 1 exceeds 1.5 amperes for a minimum of a second, Ping Brothers shall switch off the power to that device. With the help of a PoE splitter cable, you can use PoE current to operate any device, even a halogen bulb. Just for the purpose of demonstration. But if you connect an additional bulb to the port, power consumption will exceed the 1.5A limit and Ping Brother will switch off the power supply after a delay of 1 second. The star of our second practical example is an external moisture sensor, an optional accessory to the EPIW104B model of Ping Brother which can be magnetically attached to steel surfaces or screwed to any other surface. Using this optional sensor that should be always connected to the PoE outlet of Ethernet port number 2, Ping Brother can implement the above mentioned interventions in response to leakage or water condensation. The response in this example will be the switching off the bulb and sending a warning email. Let's produce a little water leakage And there you are. Ping Brother performs the work it was assigned with. Real brothers are not always that eager to help, are they? Excuse me for a second, I hear a message coming. Well, I of course received a warning email about the natural disaster that just happened. For the third example, I will configure Ping Brothers so that when the external temperature sensor sends its temperature above 40 degrees Celsius, it will switch off PoE feed to port number 1 and then will switch it back on when the temperature drops below 40 degrees. With this, I basically enabled the thermostat function. Now let the light bulb be the heating that we control by Ping Brother. Thanks to the low thermal lag of our sensor, we can quickly heat up the bulb up to the preset value. So by controlling the bulb, Ping Brother keeps our temperature sensor at a temperature above 40 degrees Celsius. In this way, we basically made use of Ping Brother as a remotely manageable temperature controller. 
Of course, ventilation or cooling can also be managed in this manner, or a similar control can be configured for power consumption and voltage is measured by the device. If you want to see previous data measured by the device, you will need a Broperator software product that can be downloaded from our website free of charge. Using this application, you can have an overview of the measured temperatures, consumption and power supply values, and channel statuses in hourly, daily, weekly, monthly, and yearly breakdown. You can view the log entries for specific devices and you can also switch the status of channels. If you operate a larger network, this little software application can be an essential tool for you to remotely manage up to hundreds of devices sorted by various field or logical groups on a clear interface. Use SpringBudder to monitor your network devices as there are so many threats around. SpringBudder will be watching them. The team of SpringBudder wishes you undisturbed and problem-free network operation and remote management. Hello Dave. You're looking well today.